Hi, I'm Mervyn from EcuTech. I'm here today to speak to you about ECU Connect for the GT86, FRS and Subaru BRZ. ECU Connect is available from EcuTech tuners worldwide. Ecutech's Bluetooth vehicle interface connects to the vehicle's OBD socket and then you download the free app from the App Store of your choice. It works with both uh, Apple device and Android device. We're going to use the iPhone for today's example. We open the ECU Connect app and we can see we've got three options on the screen here. We've got My Car, the Archive and the Dealer Locator. Firstly, Dealer Locator. Um, it shows you your local Ecutech tuner and you can sort by vehicle type. The ones shown in red are the master tuners. Choose back. Archives where your data log files are stored. Also any DTCs that have occurred and also performance test results. In this example, as a performance test that we did this morning, you can see a 0 to 30, 0 to 60 in 4.56 seconds. Our Vortec powered GT86 is quite quick. Um, and we can share this performance test results via Facebook, email or text message. When we send it, it presents itself in a nice performance card showing the vehicle type and oh, as you can see there, that was the Infiniti Twin Turbo, not the BRZ. Okay, we go back, back, we're going to connect to the vehicle now, my car. So it's now communicating with the vehicle and we can see a list of standard ECU Connect features. So the standard features will work on all GT86, FRS and BRZs. Um, that's the information, the data login, the DTCs and the performance analyzer. And then we have the race ROM specific features where you need the ECU programmed with Ecutech race ROM and these are map switching, the launch control and the custom inputs. So firstly, information, the top button, we can see it's a BRZ and the engine control module tells us the calibration ID and also if RaceRom is installed, more importantly if RaceRom has app support and you can see here it says yes. We go back, we're going to go to data login now. So this shows us all the engine login parameters that we can view and record. Um, we go to the settings on the top right and we can add and remove various um, login parameters. You see the ones shown in red here are custom Ecutech parameters. You have to have Ecutech race ROM in the ECU to be able to log things like the G4 sensors, uh, the MAF voltage, the MAP switch and other trick um, login parameters like steering wheel angle and stability control. Once we choose done, the live data is being shown. If we put landscape, we get the min and max values added to the screen, or if we're using an iPad or a bigger tablet device, they'll automatically be shown. You can clear and reset them. As soon as we choose start, the information starts to be recorded to file. Choose add mark, it will mark the log files for easy analysis later on. We choose stop, the login's uh, finished now, and it's saved in the archive. Next feature is the DTC tool, standard Ecutech ECU Connect feature. Reads and clears DTCs on each of the modules on the vehicle. Back, performance analyzer. As we see earlier, we choose new run. Um, it tells us stop the vehicle when it's ready. As soon as you pull off, it starts the test. As soon as you achieve the 0 to 60, 0 to 100, a quarter mile, or you lift off and abort the test, it will show you the results and they can be saved um, to file or they can be shared with your friends uh, via email or Facebook etc. When you choose abort there we can go into the settings and we can change the different types of tests that we want to do. Just select accordingly, choose done, that's it. Now we're going to move on to the race ROM features for the GT86 and in particular first one here we have map switching. We've got four different map switch modes can be con configured by the tuner and this one's been set up low octane high octane fuel, race fuel and ethanol and when we're choosing the map switch mode with our mobile device the rev counter also moves as a, a visual indication so you can see where you currently are. Next one is launch control, anyone who's used Ecutech launch control it's got very good progressive launch control we can change the launch control RPM here using our mobile device. 
And our final one is custom inputs. Now custom inputs is a new feature um, that works with ECU Connect and it allows us to have five custom inputs into the ECU that can be configured by your tuner. So we're gonna move on to the custom inputs example now. We select custom inputs and we can see in this example, we've got set up a traction control, a boost control, uh, a throttle response, a fail-safe protection, and a valet mode. So first of all, we start at the top of traction control. We can simply increase or decrease the amount of traction control that we want. So this is not the factory traction control. We disable that. We can then set up, the tuner can set up clever uh, ignition retard based and or throttle um, control based traction control. Next one on the list is boost control. Um, if you've got a turbocharged uh, BRZ FRS, we can run closed loop boost control with temperature compensation, and you can adjust the boost pressure using your mobile device. Throttle response, so this is kind of like the standard Subaru feature of Sport SI Drive. We can set an economy, uh, regular sport and a race. This is the relationship between the axle pedal and the throttle butterfly opening, and we can influence that using ECU Connect and custom inputs. Next one is failsafe protection. If you're doing track days and things, we can set up failsafe so if the car gets too hot, air temperature, coolant temperature, we can reduce the power output. Um, or we can do air fuel correction. If the car runs lean, too lean on full load, then we can do things like close the throttle, put the check engine light on. And the final one here is valet mode. The car's not always in your care. If it's not in your care, turn valet mode on. It will go to a preset setting that your tuner will configure, like if you're leaving valet parking or something, uh, reduce the power so when it's not in your care, nobody can abuse your pride and joy. It's just a few of the features available using custom inputs. So the standard features from ECU Connect work on all GT86 FRS is the information, the data login, the diagnostic trouble codes and the performance analyzer. And if you have Ecutec Race ROM in the ECU, the latest version of Ecutec Race ROM, you can have the map switching, the launch control and the custom inputs, which can do more than the examples we've shown so far. In this custom inputs example, we've set up um, the intake camshaft and the exhaust camshaft so it can be adjusted. So uh, potentially you could lock the car on the dyno and you can move the intake cam and the exhaust cam around live, check the power output of the car to, to calibrate the best uh, valve position for maximum power. The next example shows custom inputs working as a, a, a plus or minus. So as this example, we've got ignition timing and we can increase do a global increase or decrease of ignition timing or depending how the tuner's configured the map depends where the timing um, can be applied. You could set it up against load and RPM so that timing's only added on full power and it's not for example added high RPM and lift off. That's all configurable in the ProECU software. Next one injector end angle. We could set injector end angle as a slider or in this example it's a plus or minus again and we're moving the end of injection by five degrees each time we plus or remove um, the setting here and the final example water injection this demonstrates the switch ability with custom inputs the on off and in this example it's water injection you want water injection on just turn it on on the phone that could be set up for a screamer pipe it could be set up for an air horn every time you turn it on and off a relays driven uh, solenoid outputs driven a relays driven and you can drive anything you can think of all this possible with custom inputs So in this custom inputs example, um, we've set map switching up for different modes, launch control, flat foot shift and auto blip and in mode 4 all the features are on, but in custom inputs we've set up the event selector as the top one, road, rally, race or drag. So the tuner can set up different tuning configurations depending on the event. Might be rev limit, speed limit, something like this. Uh, example two is using custom inputs on off switch, exhaust screamer pipe. Using a solenoid output driver via a relay, we can turn uh, mechanical hardware on and off. Nitrous, if you've got nitrous fitted, you can arm and disarm the nitrous using the switch here. 
pops and bangs, ignition retard and flames on lift off. Um, you can, you know, they're good fun, but you can adjust the severity of it because you don't always want it working to a full extreme. So you can control and influence the amount of pops and bangs that you get using ECU Connect. And the final one is flames. Uh, tuner's imagination needs to be used here, but it's a non-latching switch. So when you push the button, uh, something happens, and when you let go, whatever you've configured stops happening. In this example, we've said flames, exhaust re um, you could use exhaust retard, ignition retard, extra fuel in, and if you were really keen, you could run a fuel injector or a spark plug into the exhaust and do some proper big flames like the GTRs do. All of these are possible because of custom inputs and because of ECU Connect and custom maps in Pro ECU.